With me, my brothers, we shall purge this world of heresy and chaos. Hey, ain't you that guy from the Space Marine game? <clears throat> uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. My name is Titus, I mean, Erastus. Erastus. Shut up and sit down. Hey, you skellywags. Today we're looking at this, Ultramarines, Heroes of the Chapter. I'm pretty sure Joy Toy rushed to release him because of the uh, Space Marine 2 announcement. But Joy Toy haven't stopped there. There are figures coming out with the new 2.0 body just around the corner. One of whom bears a striking resemblance to someone. Lucky I don't keep my boxes as there's damage there to the side. But this is the most mint box I've received uh, from Joy Toy 40k. Which says something about these boxes. And all that great. This one though is a bit bigger. Than uh, the ones I've received recently. One I got in. Very recently this one. Which I'm doing a video on too. Which is a bit smaller. It's same size as the Imperial Fist box. It's got more accessories as well. But smaller for some reason. Anyway, we're not here to look at a box. Let's have a look and see what's inside. So here we have Primaris Lieutenant Erastus. And here are a few other extra little bits. Out of the uh, three heroes of the chapter figure, this design was my favourite. Mostly because of uh, the resemblance to Titus. As you can see with the helmet, of course. Which looks amazing. Um, I had to ink in the bits there. In black and also here. They were all plain. Um, and not inked in. It looked weird so I decided to do it also on the back here. Let's fill it in with a bit of black. I think with the uh, dark wash they went for. It was uh, necessary to do that. But I'm really liking the look of him. Those red eyes. His head uh, moves of course just like we've seen throughout a load of these uh, Space Marine figures the same. This is the same as well. Our moves there and pulls out. So you can get a little bit more there going up. There is a bicep twist and bend. Nice double so I did bend with the elbow. This thing popped out. So these side skirts are new. Uh, different to how they did it originally. And that can just pop in there. Quite like the way that works. They're giving you an extra one here. So this, see? That's how it pops in. A holstered gun. You can just replace the whole thing, which is quite generous. They gave you an extra side skirt too. And is on a barbell joint, which works really well for the 40k figures. They're really liking the uh, dark wash. Look at that new forearm there, the skull. A gun seen before same this comes out oh. there put back in so here are some hands these are what he comes with out of the box or for assault rifle really so I just changed them over and this one here has got the sword holding hand. This sword. Quite nice. A little bit plain, but I do like the look of it. And the paint apps are great on it too. Same forearm here. And this pauldron is different. We've not seen this. The Titus one has got ultra underneath it. The skull. But the same design. And here's a little uh, purity seal. Movement here. The torso bit. Yeah, all well, the little detail here is nice too. 
Yeah, these side skirts are really big improvement. Like quite a bit is different to what we've had before. Joy Toy are really getting good at making these Space Marines. All the paint app details. This moves. Take this off. And paint in there as well. Those little pipe bits or whatever. The power packs are so much easier to put on and take off now since the uh, initial release from the incursors and infiltrators. A look at that little detail there too. They're just yeah, great stuff now. Movement here, top thigh. Yeah, this thing keeps popping off now, so I'll leave it off. And leg goes up, back like that, and the bend there. Very good. Look at that. Detail underneath that knee. Love that. Foot down up. Pivot. Toe. It does move left and right as well. So really, really nice stuff. Even though it doesn't have the uh, edge highlighting. It looks amazing. Uh, but yeah, it could do with some ed edge highlighting. But can't complain with how great blue pops and that dark sh uh, dark wash as well shading makes it look really impressive so we'll just bring in another ultramarine this big boy the librarian see the blue is slightly different this blue pops more than the this duller blue on the librarian and there is a bit of a uh, edge highlighting on the librarian a bit lazy there though not as good as some of the other ones. Oh, oh yeah, he also comes with this card. Primaris Lieutenant Erastus. Looking really good in the artwork. I'm writing there at the back. So I just want to compare with the only other intercessor I've got with side skirts, and it's this guy. You don't mess with the Zohane. See, the way his is done is just bent like that so break it this is Jean-Claude oh actually we've got his Jean-Claude ah. Titus so it's definitely an improvement over Zohain less than a year they've you know changed things up I wouldn't mind getting uh, more side skirts on uh, other intercessors. I think it looks, uh, looks pretty good. There's really only uh, small improvements here and there, that, but it does make a difference. I do like how they uh, keep what works and just change the bits that uh, they need to. Look less detail on the uh, uh, on the blood angels. Even just the the paint apps, they've added uh, you know those extra little bits in places for their new figures, which I really do appreciate. We'll just grab another here, Imperial fists. Savito, who has a, a dark wash and all inked in bits from there, look. Which really pop, and they didn't do for uh, Erastus here. Despite that though, Savito was my favourite single release. But now, I think it might be Erastus. Just going from uh, one Space Marine to another. But it's just, I really like this look, and I'm really looking forward to that Space Marine 2 game. This looks like Gears of War, which I really loved, and Gears of War, obviously, the Grim Dark and that. Uh, very heavily influenced by 40k. Size wise, yeah, just the same as your, your normal Intercessor. 
I might actually give my Erastus uh, a chain sword instead of this uh, power sword. But for now, he does look pretty cool with this one, so I'll leave him with this one for now. But yeah, just the uh, improvements on these figures are great. I can't wait to get my hands on a 2.0 body, see how that is. I've heard that they may not roll out the 2.0 body for all uh, the intercessors. Like the Outriders don't use them. But they may not be releasing as many uh, of them. So maybe just the, uh, the, the named heroes may get a 2.0 body. I don't know. Uh, we'll just have to see what Joy Toy do. I didn't mind that they, they were going to be bigger. Especially if it turns out that they're just going to be named characters that will utilize the uh, 2.0 body. But this guy, I'm pretty pleased with. I am going to get uh, a few of the other new 2.0 bodies with, that look like uh, Titus. Um, but I'm pretty pleased with this guy. I think he's a brilliant figure. These uh, Space Marine Intercessors, just great little... Uh, figures to play about with and look amazing so if you can get in for a good price i'd say go for it um some places are charging a bit more than they should uh, locker toys got in a few and i managed to get mine from there using my points so i got in for like 10 pounds 55 which is amazing uh with free free shipping working on more videos there'll be a blood angels one coming out um, custom one will be at some point. I've ordered a few other bits to improve my custom. And boss fight studio stuff I've got. Star Wars figures. So loads more stuff to look out for in the channel. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll scale you later.